Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. Serena? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without all this. The smell of old books is intoxicating. What happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell. I loved it when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. A lot of rarities and special editions here. Sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. I should probably eat. Can't remember the last time I ate, yet I don't feel hungry. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. I still can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. I, I better stay in, in case Serena comes back. This one wobbles. I always meant to do something about that, but somehow never got around to it. She made this with her own hands. She was really good. Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking there's something of importance inside. Come, love, with peace in your heart, said Niav of the Ice Blue Eyes. Hmm. Blue Eyes.
there's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Hers. I used it too when shaving. They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. These keys are for the cabin and the car. If the keys are here, does she have her spare? Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost, such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusions shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. It's been so long since I said her name out loud. I think that's the moment I fell in love with her, when she told me the soothing sound of her name. So glad to meet you. My name is Serena. I should probably stay here. We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. My heart is racing. I can't help but feel there is something I have to do. Commune Evidence, Serena's favorite perfume. Yes, blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. She was special. Contradictory. She didn't mind these. Actually, I think she was into them too. Our refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. Where is she? It's a beautiful day. 
though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. I've always loved the hazy afternoon shades of this place. It's deep into summer, so there's a few hours left until it gets dark. The sunlight is so bright here. In other circumstances, this would have been the perfect afternoon for us. The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular purchase up to Every cabin needs one. Unlike its sibling, this lamp would last for months. She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. She is fairly religious, not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard, but I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. For some reason, light bulbs wouldn't last long in this lamp. I never looked into it. Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was. Far out. If I could only remember what happened. I'd give anything to look into her eyes again, to feel like that again. Where is she? The furniture came with the cabin, but the bedclothes we brought with us. A place like this needs some luxury, but without her, 